Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we have the Huawei WS5 200, also known as the Huawei 5G Outdoor CPE. This is the box of the the indoor part of the outdoor CPE. What you have on the box is the picture of the actual device, you've got the name, and then if you turn it over, you've got some of the specs. So as you can see, it's got a dual core 800 mhz CPU for high performance, four 5DBI high performance antennas for better coverage, a Wi-Fi AC1 2000, gigabit ethernet ports, and you control the whole thing from your Huawei smartphone app. On the other side of the box, you have some of the specs and you have this sort of diagram which shows what the router would do in a apartment with two to three rooms. So it just shows where you should put it and how it basically spreads the overall signal. Moving around the outside of the box, it's pretty normal stuff you've got on this side here, just basically repeating the same information that's on the back but in different languages. This is obviously a prototype as it says here, not for sale. It may differ when it gets released in the UK. It is released in China and Japan. We're going to go ahead and then open this now and show you what's inside. First off, you've got your quick start guide. This is just some of the general points about the device and basically how to set it up. Then you've got the device itself. Again, on the bottom of the device here, you can see it says not for sale. But this is a prototype version of the device which will be released all these parts, the antennas here, come up like so. And then you have your three LAN ports, your reset button, your WAN port, and your power port. So it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward, average ports on what you usually have. On the bottom, you have IMEI, EEAN, and then you have where it says here, 1,200 megabytes per second wireless router, which is 5G speeds, as this is a 5G compatible router. What else do you have in the box? So you lift up this sort of separator, got your ethernet cable, and your charging cord. This is EU charging cord. So when we do eventually stock this unit, we will have the UK chargers, as obviously this is a prototype, it has the EU plugs. So On the top here, you have your power button, so you would press it on to turn it on, obviously, and hold it down to turn it off. It's quite difficult to see, but just above the Huawei logo and beneath the power button, there is actually quite faint. Basically, it's a light and it will flash telling you different things about the router. So if it's a steady green, it means you're Connect to the network, all fine, all set up. If it's a steady red color, it means you're not connected to a network, so there's an error somewhere in the line. If it's flashing, it means it's detected a pairable device. So basically it's looking for you on that device to connect to the router itself. So that's about it for the indoor part of the router. This basically has to be set up inside, somewhere in your home, as the diagram shown, somewhere sort of center. Then we move on to the outdoor part. So We'll just move this to the side for now. We'll grab that back in a bit. We have this is obviously not what the box is going to look like when it's released. Again, as it's prototype, you can see here it says not for sale. Box is just a plain white box for now, which is what we received. But inside the box will be fairly similar to this. It, this might not be the most fine. It'll probably look a little bit cleaner than this while we usually do a good job. But this is generally what it's going to look like. So here you have your wall mount. So this will mount to your wall outside and you simply tighten it around the other part of this device. You have your charging cable, and then you have the actual outdoor section of the device. This is the power adapter part. So obviously this goes into here. You then switch it on so, um, and then on the other side, you connect it to the router through this part of the rear, which is a quite ginormous ethernet cable. So, so now we're just gonna quickly show you how to connect your indoor router, which we previously unboxed, to your outdoor 5G CPE, which will give you a 5G signal inside your house, apartment, whatever. It can give you much higher speeds. You'll probably max out this router, 1,200 megabytes per second, 1.2 gigabytes. So yeah, we're just gonna quickly do a, show you how to do it. So we'll just pop these up. You'll have this connected to power, already plugged in and then basically what you want to do grab the any ethernet cable there is one provided in the box plug it into preferably slot one plug the other end into the power adapter that comes with the 5g so you plug it into this port here the lamb one like so and then you want to take this same port and plug that into the wall using this device here so plug it into here switch it on we're going to leave it off for now i wouldn't turn it on until everything's plugged in obviously this part which comes with it, it's a really long Ethernet WAN and power cable. 
plug it into the blue port on the bottom so and take the other end with you outside to where you've got your 5g and take the other end and plug that end into this port of the actual 5g device so simply plug it in like that and then push this part down making sure it's clipped in properly and then Huawei have nicely provided you with two screws that you will place into these holes here and then using the also provided allen key simply screw them in screw them in like so so now this solid not coming out and the final step is to take this wall mount pop this out and then uh, this mount that you can attach it around a pipe preferably higher up get a better chance of a signal you want to simply these four prongs on the bottom slide them over this part here to it clips in and then secure so then once this is clipped in like so you can clip it into a pipe or a fence but higher up the better it's then obviously less chance of theft you would then on the side here have two flashing lights this one flashing for 5g this one flashing for 4g and basically you're done at that point it will be then instantly be connected to home device and provide you with a 5g signal so just going over some of the parts obviously this cable that's provided by Huawei is a good four or five meters long so you could keep this inside your house obviously and just have what needs to be outside on the actual outside therefore it keeps it safer this however will be waterproof there's no sort of outside ports all these parts are covered up and the only area that would be with here and on the actual ethernet port you can see that it is here waterproofed so nothing's getting in there really that is about the end of this short unboxing of this unreleased outdoor cpe this is the outdoor cpe not to be confused with this which is the wf5200 indoor router which can get up to 1200 megabytes per second download paired with this 5g outdoor will likely reach that both of these devices are not for sale yet. As you can see, it says here and here. We don't really have a date that they'll be available, but once they are available on phones.com or on Amazon, they will have UK chargers rather than the EU one provided. This one obviously came with a UK charger, but this device came with an EU one. You don't get to choose with the samples, so. But it's a generic, interchangeable power adapter anyway. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching another video. This one was a little bit different from the normal ones we do. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to press subscribe if you like the video like if you have any questions about the outdoor 5g leave them in the comments below i think we can improve in any way comment below as well Follow us on our socials and uh, yeah thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next video